Hi everyone, this is part two of Danny's Lesson in Prophecy, and I've revised it some since I did it a couple years ago. So far, i found this to be the easiest to understand of Danny's, and I hope you will too. Danny and the angels provide us with multiple confirmations of things that are happening right now, as well as other presentations. There is also an abundance of living prophecy. I so far have only done the forward mode, and it is quite long, so I'll have to save the reversal for the next presentation. I look forward to getting it done in the next couple of days. Throughout this audio recording, Danny talks to those who are following us, letting them know what is happening and providing some tips on interacting with others when things start to happen. So this is what Danny said in the first part of the recording. As always, see how much you can pick up and you'll get better results if you use headphones, slow it down during the hard to understand parts and go over it a few times. This is what he said. And if you need help, ask for it. When you do, it isn't wrong. If you can't do it, then don't reply with theories off point. When you're not right, injecting fear really becomes your own. If you enjoy doing your work, ready your work for God. We honor the truth and take it with passion. Friday, we'll usually be looking for your input and have many answers you'll have to see. You'll get to see Ryan work here with the angels with prophecy. It's the way the angels want to gain spirit and vision. We can't seem to post about it. We're talking about it all the time. Maybe someone may think that they want to do this if they could advance belief observing our actual work. I'm not kidding. Follow this river. If you want, you too can earn our trust. I don't think anyone can deny that if you go over it a few times, there are ample phrases there that many will be able to understand in that last part. The reality is, I've been doing this study for 20 years, and like the angels have said on numerous occasions, my understanding has evolved, and we are ready to get this out there. Who else have you heard about that has raised a budgie who developed full-blown speech, let alone three? You know, the funny thing a lot of people say or comment about is that they can understand most of what I caption, but when they close their eyes, they can't understand anything. Therefore, it must be some kind of hoax or something. If they really thought about it, the captions are part of the miracle, and I've not been studying budgie speech for 20 years to be sloughed off as not knowing what I'm hearing. For example, if an expert in something like the Dead Sea Scrolls have deciphered them and put them to words, would it be right for some person who has no experience in deciphering the scrolls come along and say the text transcriptions are wrong because they can't understand them without following the expert's help or translation? So the captions are there to help and teach those who are interested in the speech patterns, accents, and vocalizations of these budgies 
that I've been studying now for 20 years. Lastly, trust works both ways. If you want to learn something this important and someone is willing to teach you, you have to have trust in them. On the other hand, the person that you trusted also has to trust that person they are teaching so they will respect and work in an honorable way with them. So I believe that is what Danny and the angels are trying to say here. In the next part, I'm not quite sure what they mean by no call is from yesterday when the earth was barren and frozen. Again, maybe someone asked a question that pertains to that and they will be the only one who knows that the angels are answering it. As you probably know, there's been a lot that has happened in the news lately. It's even gotten worse since I first spoke about how certain countries don't really care about climate change and what the future is going to be like unless we make a drastic change. The angels also talk about how they will answer certain place questions and perhaps one of the reasons no one is commenting is because there is a group of people doing an independent study and writing a report on the miracles happening here. The angels even called it a blockage, which means someone is stopping people from commenting. This blockage might be an important part of verifying my studies, yet the angels feel my frustrations at times and would at least like someone out there who perhaps is not connected to them give me some encouragement. The only thing I can do really is keep moving forward with the angels who have promised me that things will get better and others will want to become part of this when the time is right. This is what Danny said in the next part. No call is from yesterday when the earth was barren and frozen. Are you now questioning war and fear and cannot enjoy earth when it's infected as a haven for the people who don't care? We will have a way to urgently get their attention. There are certain reasons why the best place questions will come with the answers. Let's hope those are still reporting something they really are doing during the block periods in here. They have to shape up if there's a meaning for their philosophy. Real prophets will use something new to encourage products of their faith and speak up as well. We know some tend to be inviting evil spirits, causing fear. It's wrong when they're there to claim jihads will be rich if they're killing their kids and men. I guess that last part was a little bit heavy. And I have to ask the angels why they didn't mention the killing of women as well. Also in that last part, I believe it was the first mention of evil spirits. I know Swedenborg believed there were. The question is, do we now have to worry about evil spirits too? There's a pretty simple answer to that. The angels will protect you if you invite them into your life. However, if you invite the evil spirits instead, you will live your life experience the products that come from their attachments to you. Some of those evil spirits may accompany the evil people you allow in your life as well. So that is why we have to be careful sometimes about who we have friendships with 
and if God forbids we have relationships with those that are evil hope that God's angels will be able to find ways to help them to evolve spiritually and become better people I could tell you stories of people going to church one or two hours a week and after they come home are abusive to their family and loved ones cause trouble for those who they think don't have the same religious beliefs as them and even think they are doing it because they are righteous in the name of God in the next part Danny says Jacob was a patriarch who objected to seeing their hurt and chose a fair way to bring a dream for a better future that dream was for everyone who can believe we don't want such murdering we are supporting life itself in God's war when a product used up here appears to have dirt on it then for sure we'll get rid of it and God wants you to choose a miracle for these things that fail and that's why with our authority we will get to repeat dreams that will support this whole culture for those who will join The last paragraph was very significant. He started talking about Jacob. In presentation 13, there was either a message going to or coming from Jacob. I believe someone may have asked who Jacob was and the angels answered it here. I also love the way God wants us to deal with evil and says that we'll be able to use miracles through dreams. He also talked about how it would be repeated. What they were talking about was a previous form of about 12 people who were sending the dreams in to me to be translated with the help of the angels and how there were some very interesting and miraculous things happening as a result. So they are talking about repeating some of those dreams to help people reverse evil which will create miracles. In the final part of this recording Danny says if someone comes to postulate it really won't bring anything good that we add to this project. We will be presenting a true report to all who have accepted our philosophy to heal earth. Ryan isn't really sure when it first occurs. When finally we tell him he'll acknowledge it in the lessons coming. We all will be building here during the weekends working. We won't give up until this miracle speaks in relative times. And your father has been working with many angels who learn above you. If you're helping angels, you choose to work for God's school.
stopped. Whoops, I thought that was the end, but there's one more paragraph to go. So all of what Danny said in that last part was true. Most of my weekends will be working in the forum in the future, and I am still not sure when it will happen. We have heard that it will happen in the summer, though, and which summer, I don't know, but hope it will be this summer coming up. By then I should have the 70 lessons completed that Victor prophesied as well. In the final, final part of this one, Danny talks to those who perhaps have followings and want to do an interview. I actually did one recently, so that falls in line as well. He says that it would be best to get any interviews done now, because in the future I may be too busy. He also talks about how the future forum members will cover the Bible with their questions and how the angels will answer them. That should be pretty cool. I can't wait. So this is what he says in the last part. If some of you have questions, you have the right to invite Ryan for an interview. He'll try to be here a lot, but his work will take up most of his time. If you try and mock God's work, we will know. The angels protecting will know who has faith in this. What we think of you, he'll learn. In future work, we'll cover the whole Bible through a collection of posts. What you're getting is real. So that's it for the forward part of this presentation. Stay tuned for the reversal, which I'm sure will have some incredible revelations in it. I'm looking forward very much to getting it done and out to those who are watching. Take care. That completes this presentation. To hear more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit our website at theangelscrolls.com.